you just got to score a bunch of points. Yep. Uh, when you're taking on the team that has the top offense and the top defense, man, you've got to have the game of your life. There's no question about that. And, of course, uh, getting ready for live action from here in Birmingham and Jackson State. Where's the opening tip? And, and they have got a lot of size. And there's two six five players on the court right now for Jackson State. Looking to operate high low in the post. They're led by Tamika Reed, and here comes Grambling after the missed shot. All right, so Covington, your all swag second team player. She's really stepped up this year from a player who's come off the bench in years past to an all swag performer this year. Jackson State University led by head coach Tamika Blake. And for the Grambling Tigers, Freddie Murray. Jackson State with the basketball. Look it, tries, and has the ball taken away from her by Felicia Allen. Numbers for Grambling if they can convert. It's four on two. Leah Morrow with the bucket, and it's the first bucket of the ball game. Morrow said, hey, you other three, <laughs> I got this. All right, Grambling is picking up with some full court pressure here. See if they can bother and disturb Jackson State. And they do. And Another Tamari break. with the basketball, McLaurin. And Journey McLaurin goes in and draws the foul. Freddie Murray has had some big runs in the past. You know, you, you look at it in a different way. He's a Jackson State alum. Of course, all of his allegiance in this moment right now with the team that he's coaching. But it just goes to show the interconnectivity. Three to nothing, our score, Grambling on top. But early on, Grambling is doing what they should, creating turnovers and turning those turnovers into offense. Liam Morrow with a bucket. It's now five to nothing, and Jackson State taking a timeout. And now Jackson State will have the ball after Coach Reed calls a timeout, basically has a come to Jesus meeting. I think we're going to see a different Jackson State team here. Covington going around the baseline, going up for the shot, good. Those are the kinds of shots that Coach Murray said you cannot let them have going around and just getting to the baseline. Yeah, Coach Reed basically said, I need my leaders to step up. And she got it there on that possession. In a firm, direct way. Yes. In a way I would not want to have been on the other end of. Saxon kicks it out to Journey McLaurin, air ball. And Jackson State will control the basketball. All right, so that air ball does not give Grambling a chance to set up some of that full court pressure. And from the corner, in and out, but there's White. Meanwhile, Jackson State trying to make it 15 in a row. Uh, winding down, had to force one up there. Actually did get a pretty good look at it, just didn't get it to go. Covington now with the basketball for Jackson State. Second leading score on the team, averaging nearly 11 points a game. And White going in and getting the basket and the harm. Just throw the ball up there about as high as you want to, right over the head of the defender. Look at that entry pass into the post. And at that point, it's turn and catch and absorb the contact. Chance for three. And she misses. And the form's not bad. Look at Jackson State, an all swag first team selection, a second team selection, along with defensive player of the year, and of course, coach of the year. Shot up and good by Felicia Allen. Yeah, nice little quick crossover and pull up. Euro step right there, doesn't go, and Grambling cleans up the boys. Grambling coming down on the other side now on top. 7-6, six, 16 remaining in the first half. Well, you look at this lineup and just the roster makeup. Uh, Jackson State keeping a lot of that talent from the state of Mississippi, keeping them at home. By my count, only four players on this team are from outside of Mississippi. Which is good recruiting. They've run off 14 straight since then, looking to make it 15 here today against Grambling. But we've got a long way to go as we see another feed into the post there. Going back to the line will be Daphne White. Jackson State's got a couple of good quality wins. They beat uh, ULL, which is the University of Louisiana Lafayette, and they beat Texas Tech on the road this year. It's a big win. Absolutely. One of the top 100 teams in the country. They're ranked uh, number 97 uh, in the country. Jackson State is. Lost by 10 to Oregon State, 13 at Missouri. 
And then they welcome Texas at home. So White got that one to go. She shot one short. She shot one long. Allen with the shot. Good. Felicia Allen now has four points. And it's now 11-7, Cramlin. The number eight seed making some things happen. You see Coach Murray, boy, he is really getting into it. Look, he understands every single possession in this game counts. And that shot is up no good, but a foul coming up. One of those Goliath teams you thought would never lose. It takes like a near-perfect night to you have to coach every single possession. One more free throw by Woodard. And she hits it. So two for two at the line for Woodard. And Grambling has really benefited by kind of creating a frenetic pace with their defense. Let's see if they can knock it down in a half-court offense, and they do just Felicia that. Allen. Three-point bucket for Felicia Allen. 14-9 now the score, Grambling on top. Hey, look out for the black and gold out there. They're looking to shake things up. Boy, you can see the power of Daphne White in the reach. And Deja Woodard right there to clean up the rebound and the basket. 6-3, six, 6-5. Six, and then Tylen Bolar, and I think well, she's around 6-1. And that's the one area where Grambling really doesn't have an answer. If Jackson State gets the time in the half court to feed the post, Grambling does not have the size to match. Kishana Luckett with the rebound. Gets it inside to White, and White with the putback, no good. And she'll be fouled on the way up. Well, White has had her fair share of struggles here early on at the line. And she gets that one. But if you're grambling, you have to feel pretty good about yourself coming here to the closing moments of the first quarter. And after that, Miss Free Throw still up by two points over the number one seed. Kobe Maples, a three, no good. Trying to get it right in the face of Hunter and getting the rebound. Deja Woodard. Yeah, Woodard, the best leaper along with their size. She by can really get up off the ground. I mean, she ducks the ball in warm-ups with ease. Three-pointer on the way, no good. Rebound, putback is no good by Bolar and Graham, I should say, uh, Jackson State. Another shot, and they go to the free throw line. About 63% from the charity strike, 64%, and she misses the first one. 14 12 to score. And Woodard drains the second one. Was well, the 56 42 win at Arkansas Pond Bluff. Cleaning the glass there, a cheap reach in foul. You don't want to pick up a little silly foul of the. All the way that far from the basket. Chance for Jackson State to retake the lead here, and they do. Jackson State, the number one team in on offense, averaging 69.4 a game, and the number one team on defense holding their opponents to 59.1 a game. Morrow gets the ball after the missed shot, and she gets the bucket. She has six points now, and Gramley back on top, 16-15. Hey, that wasn't a bad shot. That was a good pass. Covington with the basketball. She's defended by McLaurin. That's going to be an offensive foul charge to Covington, and that's going to be number two on her. And Morrow with the basketball to Felicia Allen. Journey McLaurin will take a three. No good as time expires here in the first quarter. 16 15. You know, you got early on. This is a game that's very tough. And Grambling has done a lot to uh, cause some problems for Jackson State. And this is a team you've seen a lot. Is this pretty consistent of their performance, or are they playing a little above their heads tonight? They're playing a little above their heads right now. I can tell you this. They've had some problems and some issues, and now they're creating, they're causing some, I should say they're few errors right now. And that is where they don't have an answer, the post-entry. But a great job getting hands around that basketball as she was on the way up. Journey McLaurin for three. Good. Nice. Water. Shot. Good. You can see once again, everybody being brought out front. 
And that's going to be a foul coming up against Jackson State. And, and I would say that would be the main objective, more so than a clean layup, is get some of those bigs in foul trouble and be able to convert at the free throw line. Yep, got to convert at the free throw line. And that time they could not work that clock a little bit more, get it on the inside to where you can get your shot. Yeah, if they were not in desperation mode yet. Oh, that was a carry right there. Three-pointer on the way. Good. Martino with her first three-pointer of the ball game. And Jackson State has tied this contest up at 20. That's what we talked about. The margin of error for Jackson State is so much greater. They can overcome bad possessions and bad shots where Grambling does not have that luxury. Three-pointer was no good. And now Covington running the offense here for Jackson State. She's defended by Felicia Allen, and that goes out of bounds. Foul coming up. Covington at the free throw line. Well, Santori on the East Coast, it's about five hours until midnight. It's hard for a lot of teams to do is be able to sustain these bursts that they have. Kobe Maples to Felicia Allen. Same philosophy here. Use the clock. Find your best shot. Morrow. Baseline. Good. And that's a success right there. You're shortening the game that way by using that clock, using your patience. And they, they got push, a good shot. And that's an offensive foul. Good defense. Creates a turnover. Chance for Bradley. Take the lead on this possession. Bowler with the foul. That's her second personal. Saxon with the basketball. It's a testament to the Grambling defense here. One and done on that possession. Great rebound by Hickman for Jackson State. And by holding Bowler to no points, that's frustrating the natural flow of this Jackson State offense. And that's going to be a blocking foul that time. Free throw up and good. And she's a perfect four for four from the line. It's the little things that count in a Tightly contest the game like this one. Jackson State up by two. And once again, Grambling going back to using the clock. Unless they can get something like that. Can you take bucket. advantage? Saxon will try to complete the three-point play. You are Mr. Radio over here. There should not be any lyric discussed that doesn't ring a bell for you, Santor. Well, I don't know about that. Covington. Bounce pass on the inside to Woodard. Woodard moving, doing a great job trying to move in. Allen's going to be called for the foul. Yeah, Woodard tried to hit her with a little up and under on the footwork from the free throw line. A lot of frustration there. They call a technical foul? So they're going to call a technical foul on Felicia Allen, it looks like. You see, right after the foul was called, Woodard said something to Allen. Allen said something back, and then at that point, you know, you got your pride, you got your ego. You don't want the your opponent to have the last word. It's going to be a personal and a technical, so she got two fouls on Covington. will shoot two. Oh, and she misses the first one. Covington shoots 81% for the free throw. See who takes the edge into the locker room here with a minute 34 to go before the break. Covington to the far side. Takes the shot. Good. Covington. With two more on the board. She now has nine points. Jackson State up 27 25. 113 remaining in the first half. Jasmine Jackson in the ballgame for Grambling. Ja oh, that's partially blocked. They're going to call a foul on Jackson State. 
Chance to retake the lead. First free throw is good. All money. JJ here from Dallas, Texas. Hunter with the basketball. Martino with the shot, no good. And oh. right there to clean up with water, but she missed an oh. easy shot inside. She couldn't believe it herself. 31 seconds left in the first half. 28-27, Grambling. Good pass inside to Leah Morrow. She goes up for the shot, but is fouled. Quite the game here, back and forth. The eight and the one. Grambling says, we are here. Leah Morrow missing the first free throw. Trying to hit one more. Second free throw is good. Stassi White coming into the ball game for Jackson State. Jackson State, no stranger to having tall players on their basketball team. No, I mean, Amisha Williams Holiday is has gone, and they just replace her with more height on the front line. Covington drives the paint, goes up, draws a foul. Five seconds, five and a half seconds remaining in this first half, and Covington gets that first free throw. Some pressure. Free throw is good. All right, big final possession here for Grambling. See if they can break this tie heading into the break. Felicia Allen with the basketball. Getting it to Morrow, and Morrow can't get a shot off before the end of the half. All right, this is the part where the coaching comes into it. Halftime adjustments. Players have to play, but coaches have to put them in the position to succeed. And that's something that Coach Reed did speak about at halftime, is that we have to make some adjustments offensively. All right, Grambling's going to get first crack at it. See the pressure along the perimeter from Jackson State. Looks like a zone played by Jackson. That looks like a 2-3 there, and trying to go along. This is a situation that Grambling would like if the free throws go down. And she gets one out of two. Picking up with the pressure, and Jackson State quickly gets by it. And, and White is fouled on the way up. When you look at White, who has not shot well from the free throw line, understanding why that, that uh, she fouled it. Well, you can't take any baby swipes in. She misses the second here. It's going to be a win on that possession for Grambling. Let's see what happens. She misses does this. off the front of the iron. Right again, Grambling working along the perimeter, finding a little soft spot there inside the Good. zone. It's the jumper. Miracle Saxon. She now has five points, and it's now a 32-29 lead for Grambling. Grambling wants to keep. Hanging around, hanging around. Staying in the lead if they can. White has nowhere to go down on the block. She's going to have to kick it back out. And here's Luckett. Luckett putting on a fake. Now popping it back out to Covington. Covington with a shot. Man, that was a tough shot. You know, but if I'm grappling, I'll take it. Leah Morrow with the basketball. And she has a pocket pitch. And they will say uh, that was a foul. You'd rather have her on the bench cheering than having to defend her out on the court. Blake on the inside with a shot up no good, but she going, she's going to the free throw. I think that was more of just Blake kind of falling down. Gave the impression that there was maybe more contact than there was. Quarter of the way through this third quarter. Here's Grambling State sitting on the two-point lead. Understands the city of Jackson here is from here and went to school here. Yep. It was an assistant, a graduate assistant for a while in Jackson State. Right. Felicia Allen shot is uh, no good. Everything but the bottom of the net. Jackson State on the season averaging almost 70 points a game. 
We might not get the 50 here today at the pace this is going. Inside pass shot up good. Right over the top of the defense. She is two of seven for free throws. Two of eight. Two of eight. Fast break points, 10 for Grambling, none for Jackson State. Turnovers, nine for Grambling, none for Jackson State. They don't have any turnovers. They're trailing this ball game up. Good job by Blake to get Daphne White in the air. Couldn't convert, though. She repositioned on that jump shot. Three-pointer, good. Well, it's only a matter of time. Uh, it's been a long time, but finally, Bowler. Gets her first points of the game. The leading scorer, leading three-point shooter, gets one to go. And that puts Jackson State up by five. 3.33 left in the third quarter before Bolar scored her first bucket. And a steal coming up here for Jackson State. And they're going to call a foul. They're going to call that on Hickman. Nonetheless, Miracle Saxon at the line. Casey Chairs will sit down. See you one more time. Game. Both players scored for the ball. And really, it wasn't until after after the dive that Miracle just kind of tripped up over her leg. Had the position, not a bad look. Covington. Covington. Three! Cut that momentum off here on this possession. Get Remember, there. we talked about how long can Grambling sustain the way that they're playing. Shot up good. Felicia Allen with the bucket. She now has 10 points. What a reach in there by Saxon. Yeah, and Woodard at the charity stripe for Jackson State. Free throw good. She's been hitting them all night. And she gets two for two. Got numbers, three on one break. Morrow goes up for the shot, no good, but she goes to the free throw line. The lead now at six. For a free throw, no good. Yeah, Grambling's got to have every opportunity. Morrow, free throw, good. Little one, two, two. I'm gonna try to bait Jackson State into a trap on the sideline. Jackson State's able to overcome the pressure. Now in their half court, Covington. 45-38. Now Allen has the ball. Nine seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Three-pointer by Kobe Maples. In and out, no good. White with the basketball. And that'll do it for the third quarter. 45-38, Jackson starting to pull away. One of these two teams will advance to the semifinals. The other one will go home. All right, Grambling's going to have to make a statement here early in the fourth quarter to get back into this game. And Bowler with just three points. The leading score. we got a another foul. foul away from the ball. Jackson going in, and another foul by Grambling. With four fouls for two of your big girls. Jackson with just two. Now with three after that free throw. Uh, you would say that's a win, but just everything needed to go right for Grambling. There's still time. They're not out of it, but slowly, slowly, slowly with the turnover here. They're down eight. You get the feeling it's starting to unravel a little bit for Grambling. And now uh, Wooder with the bucket and a timeout. Grambling with the basketball. Maples controlling on the near side. She'll take a three-pointer. That one's good. A much-needed shot there for Grambling. That cuts the lead down to seven. There's so much time left in this game. Uh, but Jackson State has really come alive here in the last five minutes. That's going to be a foul on the floor by Liam Morrow. That'll be three on her. With your defense, and you need to get one more hot streak in you. But now you really got foul problems because you got Amanda Blake, Tiana Gardner, traveling violation, Jackson State. Well, there is no tomorrow for Grambling in the next few minutes. You got players like Saxon that you might need to just bring back into the game because you're going to need those points. 
Morrow trying to make some separation between her and the defender. Jump step, shot up, no good. Foul coming up against Jackson State. Hickman with three fouls. And Lucky with three fouls as well. Yeah, Bowler with more fouls than points. One more free throw attempt by Leah Morrow. Good. They cut that lead down to five now. Covington with the basketball. Jackson State up five. Covington going in, shot no good, foul coming up. Yeah, and Covington has really been the difference. You need to get back into this game if you're grambling. Well, you know, man, 80% means you don't make all of them, Santoria. Well, no, she doesn't make all, no question she doesn't make all of them, but you can tell she's struggled a little bit. Gardner will drive, shoot. Off the front of the iron, gets her own rebound. Can't hit that shot. And it's going to be over the back on Saxon. No, that's Gardner. Gardner, Gardner slapped it away. She's going to argue she got a lot of ball there, but the, the call stands, and that's her fifth. One Two. more. Yeah, so we're down to 415. It feels shorter than that because Grambling has been extending the clock. So it's not a fast-paced game where you get a lot of possessions. So it's not so much about how much time is left, how many more possessions will Grambling get as they misfire there. Yeah, Maples missing on that shot, and Jackson State controlling the basketball once again. Up by eight. Under four now remaining here in the ballgame. Jackson State, the one seed, trying to survive and advance. Hunter. Inside to White, and she gets the buckets. Tell will take a three-pointer off the mark. No good. And Jackson State with the rebound. And Grambling doesn't want to shoot a lot of threes, but they're getting down to the point where they're going to have to get some of those to go to make up ground here. In the final three minutes, 315, here against Jackson State in Birmingham. If you're Jackson State, you've done a great job of penetrating and getting the big girls in foul trouble, getting two of them out of the game, and they get a rebound. And right now, Jackson State doesn't want to be in a rush. It's imperative for them to use a little clock. Inside the whites. Count the bucket. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a long three minutes for Tell. Daphne White coming up with the double-double here. 14 points, 10 boards. And they're up by 12, 55-43. Saxon will take a three. No good. 2.30 remaining in the ball game. Jackson back into white. Yeah. I mean, short of double teaming white, uh, they're going to be be able to do that on every possession now. And now things starting to turn Jackson's way. Their largest lead of the ball game, 14 points, two minutes remaining. Maples with the shot, good three pointer. Would you like to be in that position? Absolutely, but would you think that would also include being down 11 points? White goes in and she gets another bucket. Jackson State up 13 again. 90 seconds remaining. Maples 112 remaining in the ball game. Three pointer on the way, no good. By Bolar goes out of bounds. Back to Grambling. Yeah, Daphne White has been the difference here uh, late along with Covington. It's just been a one-two punch inside-outside. Saxon driving, getting the bucket. Covington and a timeout Jackson State. Yeah, 32 seconds left, nine-point lead. Excellent game plan, uh, game plan by Coach Murray. And uh, for the most part, executed pretty well. Uh, but again, so many things, like 80% of the things that you were doing had to go right. So really a great game plan. Grambling did a lot of good things, but it just shows you how hard it is to beat Jackson State. Saxon, out to Maples, three-pointer, no good, and Jackson with the rebound. That'll do it. 
Well, the Grambling Lady Tigers gave a gallant effort and pushed. Oh, it's a double dribbling violation by Covington. 59 50 to score. And it's tipped out of their board, right? Going right for Rob J and the Jackson State radio crew. Hey, Rob, Rob J has been known to go viral. We don't want <laughs> Rob J going viral because he got knocked over. <laughs> Three-pointer by Saxon on the way, no good, and that's the final score, 59 to 50, and Jackson State advances to the semifinals tomorrow. They'll take on the winner of Southern and Prairie View.